big fish. A freaking hog. Oh my gosh. Right about. I can't. He's cute. <laughs> big boy. You hear that thud? Alrighty, fam. Welcome back to the channel. We are here with some goodies. We're getting into hunting season. Hunting season's right around the corner. Dra tags are out, so you're either drew a tag or you're buying your over-the-counter tag. Um, start off, got a nice little box here. Um, it's a company I reached out to see if I could provide some services. So all in all, I'm gonna take some pictures for them and but I uh, thought I would bring you guys along for the little box opening. Pretty excited. It's a, it's a company a lot of people know. Um, and that is Dark Energy. So they sent me a plasma lighter, a Poseidon Pro, some cables, and a little tote bag. So getting in here. First thing on top is the tote bag. So, oh, pretty big bag. It's like a shopping bag. And then it has, oh, has a little zipper on top. So pretty cool. Not insulated, but just a bag to kind of carry all your stuff in. Numero uno. Got the plasma lighter. It's pretty sweet. Um, see if there's any cool or interesting facts about it. It's got a lanyard for it. Charge it. It's windproof, waterproof, and USB chargeable. So pretty sweet. Throw out that old lighter and grab one of these bad boys. We got the Poseidon Pro in camo. So this is a, a battery pack, so you can take it. I'll be, you know, using it to charge my GoPro out in the field, my phone, you know, keep your maps running, your um, GPS running, all the electronics you use out in the field, this is what this is gonna be doing. It says it has, can charge your smartphone for 36 hours, your tablet for 10, your laptop for, or maybe 36 times, I'm not sure, five. So pretty cool. It's got a bunch of, uh, can go underwater for a little bit. It's water resistant. It's got a big old smash rating, drive over with your truck. So pretty cool, you, like, you guys can kind of expect some, some of that. In the future, came with this nice like USB cable. So I'm kind of expecting this is mainly so it doesn't, it's not gonna break. Oh, it includes 30 feet of paracord, 70% faster charging. And then it's got, like I said, a bunch of reinforcements so the, the cable doesn't break. So pretty sweet. And then this is a, so that was a USB-C to USB-C cable. And this is a USB-C to lightning cable. Sweet. So expect to be seeing that, but that stuff soon. Pretty, pretty cool. Excited to work, you know, kind of dip my toes in. And um, give me a second. Thought I would just open the box so you guys can kind of see, like if you're getting a Poseidon Pro, this is kind of what you, you can expect. So there's the battery pack, like the size of my, my hand. I got an iPhone 11 right here. So it's like the exact, almost the exact size of my iPhone 11. And then width wise, it's pretty, pretty, pretty slim too, which is, which is sweet. And then, of course, it's not charged. I just pulled it out of the box, but it's got a little light in there, USB-C and then USB-A, just kind of the normal USB um, port. So 
It's gonna be sweet. And then, else in the box. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Pro Carabiner, approved. So it has a built-in, built-in knife. What? That's awesome. And then, just the carabiner you can clip to your backpack. It's got a screwdriver on there. Both flatbed, uh, flathead and Phillips. Work on your stuff, bottle opener, and then a little glass breaker. And tap the glass and break, I think that's what that for. So, pretty sweet. Kind of normal um, cable to charge the, charge the actual unit. And then a little, it's got like a little, uh, oh, it's just built into the back. Just a little telling you how to work. So, it's awesome. So you guys can see that. And that's all the goodies that was in that box. Jumping to the next thing. We got this bad boy. Muzzle brake. So this is, need to remind myself, sorry, of the company. This is Whip Machine and Tool Company. They're out of Childress, Texas. So this is just a recommendation from a family member. Um, muzzle brake. I got it for my seven mil. So you know those kick pretty dang good. So it's, it's pretty easy. <coughs> I just sent them. I got a little, uh, I think it's called like a micrometer or something and you can just clamp on there and you do like the tip of your barrel and then one inch back, you send them those measurements. And so this bad boy will fit right on there perfectly. We got a few Allen wrenches, little Allen uh, bolts and then some Loctite. Tight those bad boys down and we're gonna be golden. Not gonna have no, gonna take it to the range, test it out and uh, hopefully it won't be kicking so hard. And yeah, I'm super pumped. Gonna go on a rifle elk hunt this year, so stay tuned for that. Um, might do some rifle deer hunting here in Idaho, possibly, possibly archery. It's just gonna be over the counter, general season. And then Utah, we're going back for some muzzle loader redemption. So we're gonna hunt down one of the big boys, see if we can, uh, Put it down there. And then uh, a few more. Dalton got a deer tag. Liam. Um, Eden. A lot of the Cali crew and then Dalton down in Utah got uh, deer tags for Utah. So we're psyched about that. And uh, we'll be down in Utah end of September. So stay tuned for all those sweet videos. Appreciate you guys subscribe, liking and subscribing, commenting on the videos. Congrats to Shiraz. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but he won the JKO fishing shirt. So there's a link below if you guys want to buy your own. Got a, got a couple in stock. And I'll meet you guys out at the range. Booyah. Alrighty, fam, welcome back, or welcome to the second part of this video. We are at the gun range. We got our gun. We're gonna grab the seven mil. Got the muzzle brake on there, all glued on. Forever a rest, so this bad boy's gonna have to work for today. But we're 100 yards out. Got the all-in set up. Got my homemade target. And then we got the old Remington Core Lock 150 grains for the seven mil. So we're gonna shoot a few rounds down range and see where she hits and uh, hopefully a little tweaking and we'll be good for the hunt. Probably come out here one more time, but it's gonna be good. Okay, just did a few practice shots. About oh, this cushion right here.
So after three shots. So I'll kind of show you the clip now. The first one was the very bottom. Then it came up a little bit to the right. It was like an inch to the left. So it's kind of grouped. But I'll mess with it and see what the force show is. Alright, so here are my five first shots. This was our one, two, three, four, five. So all I mean a pretty good group for a hundred for me for a hundred yards. So I'm gonna go up maybe kind of move this grouping up to this area because I like to kind of side in for 200 yards, so maybe an inch above right here. So we'll go one, we'll do maybe eight clicks and see where that sits, maybe seven. I'll tape these up and go back. I'll tell you one thing for sure, the muzzle brake is saving my shoulder quite a bit. The seven mil kicks like crazy, so that heavy stock is supposed to catch some, but it's been nuts. So let's twist it and then we'll fire a few more rounds down. Here, we'll take the top of the calf off and we'll twist it up. Seven, eight. I don't know why I was going to 10. We'll do 8. And uh, it looks like this other guy is uh, down range, so we're going to have to hold off for a second. Alright, let's shoot the next five shots. see the first shot was actually the closest one to the center and then the second one was right an inch below that and then the third one was the high flyer so I decided to shoot a fourth one and it was right below the second shot so kind of all over the place barrel's not too hot but I'm gonna let it cool down and make up a few more clicks after those last four shots, three of them were right on the money and then one was a flyer to the left, but all right on that right plane. So I'm gonna call it with the seven mil, it's all set in. I'm gonna practice with the six mil. I don't really expect to shoot an elk with the six mil, but um, just wanna make sure it's all dialed in and good still. So as soon as these guys are done shooting, we'll walk down, tape it up and kind of reset up for a, for the six mil. Alrighty. I think I'm actually gonna pull down this cardboard all done. Cause this is what happened with the seven mil. So these were all five or six shots that happened after uh, adjustment. So it's right where I want it for 200 yards. And then six mil, I fired three shots one two three so she's on i was aiming right at this spot because it was an outlier i think this was from the seven mil at some point but yeah feeling good about my groupings and just i'm not a master marksman um for sure but just good good to get behind the rifle and pull the trigger and i'll probably come out again before the season starts just to get some practice in so Thanks for watching.
the chase and the hunt and I set the pace